your assembly line is a type of production line and your production line is nested inside your plant layout design and is your plant layout design that is the overarching concept of your factory design hello and welcome if you are designing a factory there are some key concepts and terminology you need to understand for your factory design to be successful let me explain the first is what we call plant layout the plant layout has to do with the planning of the entire production facility it involves the machinery, the equipment, other facilities in the site that may not necessarily be in the production building. So other ancillary buildings, all the circulation around the site, everything has to revolve around your plant layout. So it's almost like your site plan. But in factory design, we call it plant layout. Now, why do we call it plant layout? It's called plant layout because in planning the site in a factory design, you consider material flow, you consider um, vehicular flow, you consider goods and services and people. And so the plant layout is the first study you should make when doing a factory design. Now, there are different types of plant layout. We have the product plant layout, process plant layout. We have plant layouts that is based on L-shaped, I-shaped, S-shape, U-shape. There are various plant layouts and I may not ex ex exhaust all the types of plant layout. The next concept after plant layout you should understand is the production line. Now, a lot of students always confuse this too. Now, production line is a subsection of the plant layout design. Production line, as the name signifies, is a line that enables you to produce a product. The main difference between the, the plant layout and the production line is that the plant layout deals with the entire facility, the layout of the entire facility. Why the production line just deals with the the fact the the production unit of the facility where manufacturing actually takes place between uh, the start of a process to the end of the finished good. And so production line is smaller, plant layout is bigger. The major types of production line are one assembly line, continuous process line, cellular or modular production line batch production line, then flexible production line. So these are the main types of production line. It's not only assembly line that is a type of production line. And I've seen this a lot. Students think, oh, I'm talking about assembly line. Assembly line is a type of production line. I'll give you an example. When you are producing steel, you have a production line in the production of steel. But there is no assembly. You don't assemble steel part by part to produce steel. So. This, this is the difference. Assembly line is just a type of production line. We have other types like continuous process, cellular, flexible, various types. I, I can just name but a few. Now, after studying your production line, the next thing you want to study now is the specific type of production line. For our case, for example, uh, we are designing uh, an automobile factory. It's the assembly line that is the most common type of production line in um, automobile design, sorry. So the next thing now, you, you need to break down this hierarchy. See, we started from the plant layout down to the production line, down to the type of production line, which is the assembly line. And under the assembly line, there are different configurations of the assembly line. So the various type of assembly line, like the fixed, the moving, the continuous, the synchronous, the asynchronous, all these types of assembly line, um, you will study them as the main types of assembly line and there are various configurations of assembly line. So like in automobile industry, for example, you have the S shape, you have the finger, you have the comb, you have a lot of configurations of assembly line. And so to recap, your assembly line is a type of production line and your production line is nested inside your plant layout design. And it's your plant layout design that is the overarching concept of your factory design. So when you start designing your factory, you should understand these three concepts. But you don't just dive into your assembly line without first understanding the plant layout. And when you finish the plant layout, you are studying the plant layout hand in hand with the production line. So let me give you an example. If you have a plant layout that is a product layout, so a product layout kind of plant layout is a layout like an airplane, whereby the product is fixed and machines and equipment are moved to produce the product. So you cannot use a product-based plant layout 
and say your production line type will not be an assembly line because in an assembly line, the product moves. But in a product-based plant type, the product is stationary. So an understanding of these hierarchies is very important. From your plant layout to your production line to your production line type, like maybe it's an assembly line, to the subtype of the type of specific assembly line you want to go for. Arrangement of this information is crucial to communicating effectively your concept and concept development for the factory design. If you have enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up, just like. You can subscribe later, but for now, just click like. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.